Today we're going to do simple photo editing on an Android device. Open up your photo gallery and select a photo. At the bottom, you should see a small crayon. That will let you edit your photo in several different ways. First, we're going to fix the skew. The skew is how uneven the photo or your quilt looks in your picture. This one is quite uneven. And so you go to the bottom of the frame or the screen and look for the picture that looks the most like your quilt, either horizontal or vertical. You can actually do both. Um, start with one though, and you move that slide bar back and forth and your picture will change. The yellow line indicates the center or where the quilt should be returned to. After you save any changes like that, if you go back into edit, you always have the option to revert your photo to what it was and you can start over if you don't like the changes you've made. Now let's address cropping, which is taking out extra background. Once again, go to the little pencil or crayon for edit. My photo has the skew circled, but look at the bottom left and you'll see a yellow set of triangles with an arrow. That is your crop. When you select that, you should have little handles or corners highlighted around your photo. You simply drag them in or out or up or down in order to take out what you don't want, and then you're done. Now let's look at how to simply change the contrast, brightness, shadows of your quilt. Go back to the pencil and at the bottom, select the circle with the little dots. This allows you to change the light balance, the shadows, the saturation, the contrast. Too many to go over here. But you once again use the little slider like you did on skew and adjust it until you have what you want and save. Now let's talk about how to share your photos with TQG or anyone. You need to go to the share symbol at the bottom of your screen while on the photo. And then you need to find your email. If it isn't readily at the bottom, click on more and email should come up. Email will look something like this. You will want to put the TQG newsletter address in or already have it in your address book and then hit send.